The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Dear traders, welcome to Weekly Trading Recap, Forex, Equities and Commodities. My name is Dana and uh, today the uh, market has already been moving. Uh, there were some ups and downs of different currency pairs, but generally speaking, uh, prices are moving, so we could exploit some uh, pips, uh, positive pips, and we will see previous week results. We had another great week. Almost all trades came in profit subsect, except for an optional WTI trade that was not performing well, but uh, all other trades, uh, not optional, because optional trades are just optional, uh, were uh, mostly very positive, and I will show you results soon. So before we start, uh, fa uh, fast risk disclaimer, that CFD and Forex are leveraged products, can result in losses that exceed your deposits, and have in mind that this presentation and video is for informational educational purposes only. So this video is not part of the .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website, so you can read a full risk disclosure on this web address and please ensure that you understand all the risks involved when trading. Why do we trade with other markets with LTD? As always, guys, uh, excellent index offerings, order sizes, also excellent order execution. Uh, also, my per preference is uh, MetaTrader Supreme Edition and, of course, Leverage that I really like. It's up to 1 to 500. So uh, this is, these are the reasons why we trade with our market. Some of the reasons, of course. Uh, this is me, and have in mind that patience is the key to trading success. So I am always patient when I trade. Uh, I wait patiently for setups to develop. And when I see that setup is valid, I pull a trigger. And uh, usually it's either uh, a win or a loss. But uh, as uh, you know, it's 70 to 80 percent of time it's a win. So uh, rules and setups that uh, we do here, you need to always give price a breathing room, and uh, you, we need to enter in the POC zone is the point of confluence. Uh, zone is within 15 pips of the predicted level, of course, and it's for forex. So. It means that if you if you trade a forex setup, you need to know that uh, those are uh, my levels that I uh, post are median points. So if you see that I have one one zero zero as the level for entry, it means that you can enter at uh, one eleven eleven fifteen, okay, and at one eleven ten eighty. Five, it is 15 pips zone to the both sides, but you never move your stop loss. Uh, you always need to trade with lower risk. Recommended risk, depending on your experience, uh, trade management, is usually in between 0.5 to 2% per trade, maximum 5% for all trades. Try to respect your stop loss always, add a spread to your stop loss, even if you trade by ECN, at 2 to 5 pips spread, depending on pair traded. Uh, also, we take only one position per listed pair. It's either position or alternative trade, whichever hits first. Have in mind that first touch of the zone is the most profitable, and that is why we are usually focused on the first touch. Positional trades are trend trades. Alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. For Forex, depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. For equities and commodities, also protect your profits around important levels, guys. And do use trailing stop, uh, especially because uh, intraday setups are very dependent on trailing stop. And uh, it's called profit stop. So once you're in profit, you need to secure the profit. That is why we use the term profit stop. These setups that uh, you see here are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. You need to pay attention to my Twitter updates. Uh, scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. Uh, those are calculated by historical levels in Camarilla. Add these levels to your system. Pay attention to trends. You might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on my setups. Have in mind that also my free analysis with clear entries, targets, if you know how to read uh, my... Uh, Charts, of course, uh, are published on admiralmarkets.com. For example, 
Today, uh, dollar yen downtrend continuation only if uh, 108.45 breaks. And if you saw this uh, POC zone, I said clearly uh, that uh, it could reject from this zone. What happened? Basically, the price went into the zone, rejected. So you, you could have made 45 pips on this analysis. Of course, guys, uh, please follow me on Twitter. Also, if you find this analysis useful, uh, retweet it. Uh, uh make a comment whatever you can just retweet it it's good to be shared because really i want to help people in, in fully understanding the the proper way to trade the right way to trade uh how we trade the price and so on so please understand it it's it's if you see it useful just retweet it uh so uh we can move to previous week uh, results uh 5th of February results, uh, euro dollar positional buy was good for 45 pips. GBP Australian dollar alternative trade was good for possible uh, 50 pips. Uh, Australian dollar alternative buy trade was good for possible 35 pips. Euro yen, well, euro yen possible minus 30 pips, uh, 35 pips. Uh, I will show all results in a matter of minutes. Uh, then gold trade was good for either 40 or even to 400 or to 130 pips if you uh, actually put a stop loss slightly higher than your trade could have made made it even more pips wti uh, minus 130 fractional pips and total pips pool was anywhere if we take wti from plus 5 to plus 135 without wti 135 to 270 the trade of the week was gold, in my opinion, although uh, if we take only a uh, look at Forex, it was uh, the GBP dollar, uh, but overall the trade of the week uh, was gold from the past week setups. Euro dollar, this was the Euro dollar trade. Uh, Euro dollar was, as I said, a little bit uh, undecisive. Uh, first, uh, we had a uh, 23.90 uh buy position initiated but what happened basically is the price went here then it almost hit stop loss but if you follow carefully what i say always add the spread and add two to five pips at least depending on pair traded plus the spread okay so you your stop loss should have never been hit because the price reached 2351 see and then it started to reject ultimately ending up in profit ultimately it ended up in profit and the euro dollar was a good trade pound dollar was uh, as i said possibly the trade of the week 39 uh, uh, 50 was the entry we didn't have a big 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 uh drop before the price actually made uh, almost 50 pips uh, to the upside so the price uh, dropped a little bit it never touched uh, stop loss okay but then what happened basically is uh the price gave us some nice pips to the upside so this was consolidation and it was before the drop this was a spike that gave us profits then well it's interesting to see usually it happens that the price is also rejected from uh, another setup and it was basically a sell position of course i didn't i cannot count this as a trade because it happened afterward and we already have had a positive trade on the gbp dollar but watch the power of these zones guys watch the power of poc zones the price exactly hit as I predicted 4070. It was 4067. It doesn't matter. It, it was very, very close. It's well, we can say it, it is because it's the zone, definitely. And watch what happened after the hit in the zone. So uh also just for your reference, you might want to pay attention to also these alternative setups. Australian dollar was uh, as a, as you can see, Australian dollar was also good uh 78 uh, 65 was initially hit and uh, what happened afterwards was uh profits on the australian uh, dollar 
so uh, you can see uh, we had 78.65 the price went in a drawdown but then it ended up in profits so spike from 80 uh, 78.65 even slightly below euro yen was a straight loss because the price went through uh, this uh, zone as a, a knife through butter really i mean it dropped heavily it was like there was no bottom here you see big 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 drop on euro sudden yen strength very strong yen move and uh, definitely there was no chance that uh, 135 85 could actually gave us some pips initially it went into some uh, pips uh, initially small but it was nothing because the price proceeded further down then it made a retest of the level just marking it as an important level but initially this was a big drop gold was good one uh, if you made a sell here exactly at this spot you would have made straight pips 40 to the downside also if you made some pips as i said above this 30 45 let's say 30 47 you would have made even more pips you would have made maybe 130 pips so that is i say the, the goal is uh, was the trade of the week so the goal clearly was the trade of the week especially if you take this uh, drop into account if you traded it uh, great if you if you traded this first setup of course uh, as i say still 40 pips it's not bad right but considering that uh, if you put stop loss higher you would have made even more pips i mean just add a few pips instead of 13 47 45 if you added at least as i say two to five pips let's say 13 48 to nine well then again you would have made nice nice pips and the gold was definitely the trade of the week and this was the loss on the wti uh the price again uh, yen went uh, up uh, wti down and what happened is basically the price uh, went to retest this zone it couldn't have uh, proceeded to the upside because there wasn't any momentum and then it proceeded to drop unfortunately it didn't start to drop uh, from this level uh, but it actually started to drop from this level here so uh, wti was not that good really it was a bad one but as i say uh it was the optional trade so it's it's not like a, a standard setup that i post each week once more guys these are results and the trade of the week was gold uh very very good uh, trade setups and gold was very good uh Ilya is saying hi hi Ilya, hi back to you and uh, you can see that we had some nice positive uh pips per, uh, proceeding from the previous week so let's see what might happen this week uh, we need to be also patient and careful for some setups to develop especially the gbp dollar the gbp dollar today i made two trades personally guys uh both trades they were stopped out not much first one was uh, minus 25 second one was minus 35 but the 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 ideal trade actually was the first one that was basically a fake out trade made uh, instantly during uh, almost during London Open that almost hit my stop loss but I closed it prematurely went into a counter trade position and that counter trade went 25 pips in profit and I wasn't there to protect it I didn't pay attention and when I saw instead of taking 25 pips I, I took a loss but uh, generally speaking uh, i know that some people actually made a win on gbp dollar dollar cad conversely was a success those were th three trades that i did today so yeah uh as i say every, you see now Reddy is saying that uh he made 70 pips uh, with uh gbp dollar that's great uh really i am honest i mean guys why would i lie to you i mean uh, this is great and uh, obviously uh obviously uh you protected your trade uh whatever i didn't have time uh during morning to actively protect my trades so uh instead of taking that 25 instant pips huh, i ended up with a loss i mean it happens from time to time 
but as i say dollar cat was then a win so really i'm i'm happy with with the dollar cat uh so uh now yes okay just give me a few seconds guys i need to reply okay i will just take a few uh okay okay give me a few seconds okay yeah ready is saying that he really made some nice pips today well i mean it's it's great as i said it, it i'm very glad that you made it indeed and uh, very very happy for that 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 is the point of my services also guys to give you pips indeed uh so uh also uh, what i wanted to tell you regarding euro dollar i think that euro dollar can be better to trade Ilya, you are right. The GBP now, Ilya is saying the GBP actually is in a political position now and there is a lot of politics. Yes, that is why we actually, uh, that is why we, uh, that is why, why we have uh, ups and downs. Uh, it's basically uh, Brexit uh, versus uh, hard Brexit uh, should be uh, then uh, what are uh, possibilities for a rate hike. So there is a lot of politics involving in GBP dollar, but generally speaking, uh, I still have the opinion that the GBP dollar now, currently, on intraday timeframes, on intraweek timeframes, is uh, actually uh, it's actually uh, bearish. So that is why uh, I will uh, still favor uh, bearish setups on the GBP dollar over bullish setups, but obviously now regarding the price action today we could have traded both ways e e e even a jump on a gbp dollar because there was two times spike and then even a sell on the gbp dollar but generally on on on, on most time frames it's it's uh it's bearish a euro dollar this is what i see on euro dollar uh i will uh i will just give you the chart right now guys just give me a few seconds and I will open the chart here. Yeah. So euro dollar, euro dollar here. Uh, do we have it? Yeah. So euro dollar is basically, uh, it's trying to get up. It's trying to rise now. But I personally would actually wait for, uh, for a higher price to sell it so uh definitely i would wait for a higher price to sell it uh, because the price now is in no man's land i call it no man's land uh want to see it higher first and uh definitely on intraday time frames it's it's like it like it looks like it, it wants to go up but then again uh weekly hasn't been retested weekly h3 so i would go because this looks like uh potential inverted head and shoulders you see all these uh, arrows here uh, arrows that point out for reversal patterns in the zone actually they gave us entries potential entries but then the price went up and now we are seeing possible spike to the upside uh, it doesn't mean that it will go straight away there because today it's monday and you need to know that mondays are uh, typically uh, non very tradable days uh just because uh, the trend uh usually ends on friday there is profit taking on friday and the trend starts to form on mondays so we still don't have a clear very clear picture on daily time frame the trend is bearish here on daily time frame you see it it, it, it has a lot of bearish price action and basically the price now is making uh, lower highs and uh, uh lower lows you see this this swing for example it's it's a typical low high uh, uh, a high low high then we have a lower high another mini low, uh, uh, then lower low another mini lower high then another lower low and now it's trying to make another possible mini as I call it lower high so uh, definitely the trend is bearish MACD also very bearish and the problem is now it, it's 
you see there is trend on four hour that is bullish and the price is indeed going up so we could have maybe uh we could have gone long here but uh, now it's too late i don't go want to go long i want to sell it the first level to sell it if it gets to 23 25 i will definitely sell it you need to know that to me that will be a level to sell it if not then you need to wait for a Possible buy position, 2180 is possible buy because it's weekly L3. Usually, uh, weekly uh, L3 is actually... Um, okay, I will I will open uh, the te uh, another template now that shows EMA here. And yeah, you should be able to see it now. Just give me a few seconds. So this is it. In relation to EMA 89... Uh, indeed uh, you see i don't have any clear break the price is bearish because it's below and you see it's going down according to all parameters it's bearish but the main problem is uh, the price is not reflected as bearish as of now because if you take a look we already saw daily uh, chart but on one hour it's clearly potential w and it has a low high high low so another hard high for me on one hour would be to exploit this weakness here. Watch this, guys. I mean, do you know what this is? We already went through all of these uh, sessions. And you know what this is, what this line represents, this dot here. Yes, this is a bearish order block, Ilya. Bearish. Because a bullish order block is here. If you take a look to the left, bullish order block is always a swing high a bearish order block is always a swing low most important swing low so yes this is bearish order block guys if you want to watch for let's say for example long entries you would like to see this is bullish order block this is bullish order block now for short entries obviously this is a bearish order block you see and why why not sell it here huh? what do you think i think this would be a good trade and I will trade it. Why not? I mean, uh, if it happens weekly H3 or a block, uh, let's see if we have a Fibonacci there also. We will use this swing, of course. Yes, we also have a nice Fibonacci here. Even we can say it's it's close to 50, but more or less ideally 61.8. You see the golden cross. So uh, the, uh, the golden ratio. So yeah, why not? I mean, for me, this is a sell in the zone, but price needs to go further up. Uh, now, we don't know that whether the price will go further up. It could go down. If it goes down 2180, guys, ATR projection and WL3. Uh, uh, you know, guys, the point of, uh, the point of these Camarillas, you need to know really that uh, I, I, I can maybe say almost 100% of the time during the week, price comes to test weekly H3 and weekly L3. It doesn't matter which pair you're looking at. Almost 100%. So it's almost every, every time. The price will at least once come and retest weekly H3 and weekly L3. And usually the first test Guys, you need to really, this is how you can trade naked Camarillas. Usually the first test in the zone, close to this, 5, 10, 15 pips, close to it or the exact price. It depends. But it, it will touch it almost exclusively once in a week at least. And then it will reject initially. Or if it drops, it will initially reject from a weekly L3. So even better if the price gets a little bit above and then starts to turn down. Guys, it's, it's good. I mean, it always happens. Now watch this, for example, Australian dollar, New Zealand. I wouldn't be surprised if the price starts to turn during the Asian session. I wouldn't be surprised. You see, because it's already testing it. Of course, <coughs> Australian dollar, New Zealand is different. It's not a dollar counterpart. So, you know, it's totally different but as i say you will find a lot of lot of opportunities in in uh, these weekly levels guys uh, let's find i mean mostly i'm doing it on yen pairs and dollar crosses but i don't think that 
pairs on yen and dollar he have already made it you see they only made it to daily they not to weekly mm -hmm. yeah they're still struggling to make it to weekly but mostly if you watch for uh, these dollar crosses and you will see the same you see it's still not there but dev yeah i made a dollar cad today and i have it still running on my live account uh, i mean real account but just pay attention to yen and dollar crosses when i hit weekly h3 weekly l3 usually usually it will be a, an instant rejection you see even euro cad it went up with a strong momentum so the price collected all these buyers here and then it started to reject it's normal guys that price will reject from this zone because uh, it's a strong one and this is the first time during the week that it has been tested uh yeah i will be fast with this indeed so euro dollar uh thank you gulad also from uh for your comment uh great analysis thank you so uh yeah uh i will i will be quick and uh, now uh let's use next pound dollar 38 30 38 80 and uh, 37 15 is uh tp buy 37 15 36 80 stop tp 37 80. as i already said and uh, explained uh today i didn't have personally much success because i uh the lack of time to actually actively manage the trade but thanks to uh the price action knowledge that i spread each time uh, some of traders such as ready made uh, 70 pips on my setups uh today uh the price went up clearly this was a sell here but then it made a double spike that told me well maybe it's much better to exit the trade because it could go to weekly h3 but it again it rejected you see all these rejections here and then i made a counter trend trade here that made a triple top uh, i still think that gbp dollar is bearish and i will not be touching it unless it hits uh guys uh, uh 39 30 so this is typo on uh on my uh on my uh, slide so it's 39 30 okay so uh 39 30 and 39 uh 80 is a stop loss uh that is where i will be selling the gbp dollar okay and buy is at 37.15 i would personally like to see that uh, uh the dollar goes uh, the gbp dollar goes down again because it will justify my first entry today that i uh, posted uh, a short on gbp dollar and uh, definitely it is short if you watch camarilla if you know about uh, my camarillas and camarilla mcd uh price uh, clearly rejecting the zones uh, uh thinning lines on the macd and price below weekly h3 below weekly h1 so this is the zone to go long weekly l3 so this could be uh this could be it yes uh ready said that his stop loss was 39.85 yes my initial stop is 75 i always add two to five pips uh to at least uh, above my initial stop loss to cover for <coughs> potential spikes and spreads so the the correct stop loss of course is in between 78 79 and 85 for short trades now for this 39 30 trade i would keep it at 39 uh, 80 maybe at two to five pips again but definitely this is the level to go short a lot of confluence even this mini head and shoulders there 37.15 i don't need to explain confluence with atr and also weekly l3 and if we see a drop this would be a huge drop of 100 pips and more so we could see some retracement uh and also it's close to zero zero so i think it it will uh, be protected australian dollar 78.90 sell 79.20 stop tp 78.15 uh, 78.15 is a buy 77.85 stop tp 78.90 so uh this is uh, the australian dollar uh 78.90 uh 
Mm, I would short it, guys. Definitely here we have a Fibonacci retracement here. You see, it's uh, very close to 88.6. My favorite retracement also in the zone of 78.6. ATR projection, daily H5, and the price. Watch this, guys. This is downtrend. So definitely, uh, I would go for a sell. Just please watch the news. If there is some news on the Australian dollar, like some strong news, you need to lower your risk by 0 0.25, a total of 0 0.30 to 0.50 recommended risk if you trade it after the news. And, uh, 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 otherwise, 0 0.5 to 2% maximum risk. Do not exceed 5% for all of these setups, guys. Calculate your own account, your own risk, and enjoy. 78.15 would be a buy position for me simply because 78.15 is also strong level. I will show you now. The price, if it's in, it's 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 trying to guys, this is big drop. So if it's trying to uh, get here, it might drop. So if it drops to 78.15 somewhere here, I think we could go for a buy trade. And do not uh, exceed uh, 78.90 because I really think that it could reject. So for a buy, uh, it will be in the zone very, very soon. It's close to the zone. Uh, for a sell, it needs to go more up. Uh, okay, so watch, watch it carefully. Okay, uh, then next one is uh, the pound yen. 152.20 is a sell. 152.70 stop. 158.60 is target buy. 148.60, 148.20 stop, 150.90 is the target. Uh, GBPN, always volatile pair, good to trade. So 152.20 could be a sell. Again, it's weekly H3. We didn't see a test of weekly H3. And uh, buy trade, of course, here. Uh, the price is in no man's land, although from some intraday positioning, we could see some rejections to the downside following the GBP dollar weakness also, the GBP weakness. So uh, I think that it could reject, but if it gets there, I think it could be a buy trade. So follow it. It, it hasn't been retested. Uh, both weekly H3, weekly L3 hasn't been retested, so we might expect some retest. Uh, next one is gold. Uh, gold possible trade is uh, 1328 sell, 1330 stop, 1320 TP. Buy trade possible at 1320 stop, 1370 TP, 1337. Uh, 1337, yes, it looks like uh, if you know what lead speak is, this is lead. Uh, L -E, you see L E E T, lead. I like this level, 1337. I will show you now why 1337 gold okay and uh, this is it okay 1337 watch this weekly h4 and watch reactions around this level 1337 supported spike drop spike support spike drop sp down we need a retest right watch it here uh, up retest then retest spike retest Watch this. Something is happening here, right? 1337, lead. <laughs> yeah, Ilya is saying 1337 was very popular in the Counter-Strike community. Yes, I know a lot about these abbreviations on the internet. I, I am a big fan of lead speak. So, so to say, yes, uh, uh, I, I know really a lot about it. But just to make a comparison between 1337 and lead watch these guys i mean really it's behaving excellent and uh, near term history shows excellent uh, reactions around 1337 so generally speaking guys if you put a fibonacci now from this spot to this spot what would you see here 78.6 exactly at the 1337 zone watch <laughs> so you see it's 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 impossible that the price will turn down also you see this is a sort of order block it's not maybe that strong as this one this is also order block but you see it's it's also an order block here 
So we could see actually a rejection. And finally, I now I need to open another uh, another uh, uh, chart, and it's uh, Dex 30. And Dex 30, I will show you right away. That is the optional trade if you want to trade the Dex. If you want to trade the Dex, let me show you the template here. The DAX is crazy today, big volatility, and uh, yeah, this is it. 12, you see 12,200 is a positional buy, 12,150 uh, stop, TP 12,540. Sell around 12,540 stop, uh, 12,580 TP. 12,390. So uh, <coughs> here is the DAX. Uh, sorry, guys, my voice is still a little bit sore. I feel good. I'm much better. But you see, my voice, I'm coughing from time, time to time. It's, it's already good, but sorry if uh, you need to hear it. Uh, so... Uh, Ilya is going. He has a train. Okay, Ilya. See you next time, indeed. So uh, this is uh, the DAX. 12,200 uh, is possible buy here, guys. It could be a buy trade because of this V-shaped reversal. Strong diving board momentum here. Bang. Rejection. The price went down and bang. Rejected from this level. So I think 12,200 12, uh, 12, weekly Camarilla could spike it up. And 12, uh, 540, close to weekly H3, guys. Uh, order block here, okay? And this is the zone. You can just watch this zone. If you see reversal patterns, whatever, you can do it on one hour time frame. It does not need to be four hour course. To cherry pick your entries, it's good to have something lower than four hour. This is it, okay? This is the zone to go short. So I will roll slides again. You can ask me questions. Uh, we still have time to answer some questions. Uh, feel free to ask me. And uh, of course, uh, if anything is not clear, just uh, go ahead and say I will explain as always. So Euro dollar first. Okay, then we have pound dollar. Then we have Australian dollar. Then pound yen. Gold. And the optional one, DEX 30. So, uh, any questions, guys, if you have? Uh, Ready saying that he also made 20 pips. Yes. Uh, indeed, uh, 20 pips on dollar cat too. So here, euro yen. Yeah, I was watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will go through it. I, I wanted to show you euro yen also. I was watching it today. Uh, I, I, I almost made a setup on euro yen. But you know what the problem is? It doesn't have a clear trend yet. It still doesn't have a very clear trend. It has a four hour that that tries to go up daily is clearly down i know it's rejecting from these quarter levels and it's okay it's it's fine it, it should reject because those are strong levels but watch this four hour 
still not very clear. And the one hour, watch the MACD on one hour, almost totally flat. The price just is congested between daily H1, daily L1. It doesn't, it didn't hit H, H, uh, H3, it didn't hit L3, nothing. Even daily H3 and L3 hasn't, haven't been retested. So really it's, it's like, it's like the price is not going anywhere. What I would say is, I, again, uh, the, the, the easy, uh, London. Uh, it's easy. Uh, I would wait for weekly H3 or I would wait for weekly L3. That is, when you don't see a clear trend on intraday timeframes, then you need to watch these weekly levels, H3 and L3. 13470, 13184. Weekly levels, Camarilla, will stay throughout the whole week. They won't change. Only daily levels change. Weekly levels stay the same. So when you don't see a clear trend, wait for the price to hit these levels, watch for reverse patterns, and then trade it. This is what I would do. Yeah, indeed. Wait for these levels. Uh, dollar CAD and dollar yen. Dollar CAD clearly uptrend today. I still have uh, on my live account a running position. I made my uh, entry around 25.85. And I still see the potential that the price can get to weekly H3 26.60. So watch for uh, dollar CAD move to the upside. This was profit taking. Do not let, guys, uh, when you see Friday price action, do not let it fool you out. Because this was clearly profit taking on Friday. And you see, the price found buyers here. And on the next swing, we could have made a long trade here. So, uh, definitely, definitely, this, this uh, is, there is a potential for a trade to hit this weekly level. So, it's uptrend. The dollar can is an uptrend, guys. Watch this. Do you really think this was a downtrend? This was just a fake out on Friday. Or, okay, call it a deep retracement. But it's supported. It should go up. It really should go up, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, yes, cup with handle is forming now. Indeed, Kelvin. It's cup with handle. So... As I say, on my live account, I'm long 25.85. Stop is 25.80. I already scaled out because I made uh, 0.30 lots. So I scaled 0.20 and I left 0.10 running. <coughs> so effectively, I made for a loss on, on the GBP dollar. And now I'm positive. Whatever happens, I secured my profits and this will be my final target. Uh, dollar yen. Uh, you see dollar yen. Let's see daily. Not clear. We don't have any clear trend. Four hour not clear. Watch this. Nothing is clear on the dollar yen. This is just up down up down. Price is dropping. Then it's bought. So it's. Uh, we can see a pattern here. I mean, you know. But you see, this looks like like a pennant right but it's 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 a broadening one you see it's a broadening one i don't like how it looks it's broadening i don't like broadening it should be parallel but no it's a broadening so we can say this is a flagpole and this is a broadening top I, whenever i see a megaphone like this a sort of megaphone i don't trade it i don't even take a look at this so my thoughts on GBP on, on dollar yen currently, Gulad, it's not tradable. So again, when something doesn't have a trend and when something is not tradable, then you wait for weekly H3 and weekly L3 to be hit. And then you make a decision. Uh, the question, would I sell the dollar cat now? And this is, okay, and then I will roll slides again because I see question to roll slides let's see if i would short dollar cat daily well 
doesn't have a clear trend. Four hours is up. Whoa, and a big, big up. And the price already went almost close to full ATR. Uh, so for counter trend perspective, I would say uh, ah, uh, Australian dollar CAD. Uh, this is Australian dollar CAD, Kelvin. You see, this is Australian dollar CAD. I would say uh, wait for a reversal pattern. It's better to wait for a reversal pattern. You need to wait for a reversal pattern. If there is a, uh, I can say, there is a sort of divergence happening. Although it's not clear yet, but it will be clear soon if the MACD proceeds more to the upside. Then we could see a divergence here, okay? MACD needs to have more upside, okay? And then it will actually, when it goes like this, then it will be a confirmation. So watch for reversal patterns after a divergence. And yes, then I think you could short it and treat it as a counter trend trading opportunity. But before I do any counter trade setup, I like to see divergence or breakout of double top and double bottom. You know what I'm talking about. So still the price is going up. You don't want to catch a flying rocket. You want a divergence, a reversal pattern, and then we can try to go short. Why not? But it qualified regarding the ATR projection. It's 70 versus 70, so it's already qualified. We have a full ATR projection. Now, only divergence, reversal pattern, and a break of trend line. And then we can go short, indeed. Uh, so basically, that was it, guys. Uh, again, I will roll the slides. Euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, pound yen, gold, and optional DAX 30. Let's see if we will have a success. Uh, I hope that we will, as always. And remember, guys, no matter what you do, keep and keep your eyes on the risk. You need to be always ready to trade without funding your account. And the biggest mistakes happen because traders do not understand the risk with leverage. Leverage is great. I always say 500 to 1 is the best, but you need to use it wisely, wisely, wisely. See you on Wednesday, guys. Cheers, everyone. Trade safe.